Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market update. Let's start as usual with Bitcoin, which, as we all know, for the past few days has just been moving steadily upwards and, yeah, really just letting altcoins have their fun for now. Uh, we are approaching an area where I would say volatility is getting more likely by every passing hour um, and with every little move we do make up we are working on some quite major resistance right now um, but it's just still gradually eating through all of that and yeah I think once we do get a move a decisive move in one direction or another then I do think uh we could see some volatility returning to Bitcoin sometime this week. Um, so just having a look on the daily chart now, so we can see that Bitcoin at the moment, we've had this nice uh, daily open that was above this previous resistance. Uh, so we did have this resistance coming in around 58K. Uh, we also had that monthly open that we were looking for price to reclaim. Uh, it has done that and we have had that close above. So from a daily perspective, this is looking pretty healthy. Uh, we also have this fixed range of the larger range right now um, that is coming in around this same area. So right now you would be saying that this 58K down to 57,700 area is a very important support. If we do start to come down there, um, that would be another little buy the dip opportunity uh, that we might be able to get. Um, the other thing to be aware of is we do have this high volume node. So this is just something else that uh, price is just working away, gradually eating through that supply uh, for now anyway. And uh, with market structure being the way it is with these lows, uh, these higher lows being put in place and these very slight higher highs, we're not in danger of this looking like a wedge yet, but um yeah, these very slight higher highs. Uh, yeah, it's still looking healthy at the moment. So let's bring that down onto a four hour time frame, And we can see here, so if we just remove that fixed range, uh, we all know where the point of control is coming in around there. Um, but what we do have, which is interesting, is if we take a range from our all time high and we bring that down here, we do have this range value area high coming in right where we have been getting these rejections. So at 59.550 area, um, so 59.5 uh, by three on this, but it's, it's a range. It's a, like, it's a pretty just, yeah, area to be aware of with this value area high. Um, we have been getting those rejections off of that. So you can see we came in once, we came in twice, and we have not had a four-hour close above this area yet. So that is the resistance directly above us to be aware of. Um, so this will be, well, <laughs> we know it is resistance. Um, the more times it touches, the more supply is being kind of eaten up um, around this area. And uh, yeah. For now, again, still looking good, but we are getting these rejections to be aware of. Right above there, we do have quite an important weekly level as well, and that comes in basically 60K. So this 60K region, um, there's a lot of stuff you need to get through uh, within this area. What it is doing right now is it's quite nicely holding um, or attempting to hold this daily. We do also have this four hour area here. Um, so we are at very local support right now. Um, we'd have to come down onto the lower time frames to really take a look at that. But then we'd have to look um, if we do start to lose this area, then we obviously have the daily open uh, just below. We have our monthly open, which is now very important support. Um, I don't want to be seeing any big closes down here, like four hour closes and daily closes and things like that down here but we could get these little moves below which again takes us into a golden pocket so this does give us a nice zone uh, we've got this the four hour lows down here if we move this onto the one hour chart then again we've got these nice little order blocks within this area 
So you would say that this right here is a nice area for a buy the dip <laughs> opportunity um, to see if this can then get one more test uh, higher in that case. Um, yeah, so definite support lower on, lower down. Uh, locally, what are we looking at here? I think it's really the same. So, yeah, levels to be aware of for the, the day are this daily open, uh, the monthly open, and just a nice area of support down here. Um, yeah, a few hundred dollars either side of fifty-eight thousand dollars. Uh, do, 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 do. not sure there's anything else to say on Bitcoin. Um, it's just, yeah, the levels are quite clear. Uh, to the upside, let's do the upside um, and have a look at where we could see some major resistance. So again, if we do start to break this range value area high, there is that weekly level right above it. And then we come into this big red area here. So this is, if we take a look on our daily chart again, I've just taken these highs up to these highs. This does give us an area where, yeah, you could look for further resistance again to the upside. Um, let's take a look at our fixed range here. And we do have our the larger range value area high coming in just below that, so 61,000. Uh, if we pull it from here, yeah, much the same. So yeah, really, um, this does give us quite a wide zone without too many like massive levels up here. This will have got through most of the volume areas, but there will be big areas up here of resistance as well. Um, there are also a couple of naked point of controls up here to be aware of that I will go over, um, yeah, in just a sec. <laughs> um, so let's just stick to these charts for now. Um, if, again, if we do start to break down from where we are now, uh, we know our local support, where that's coming in. Uh, if that does not hold and we start to make a so we get a bounce and then we start to lose these levels and to lose this trend line as well which is coming in i would say start looking down towards the 55 it's that 55 500 uh down to 55k area again i would be looking for a bounce within that area but at that stage you'd probably be looking for that only to take that up again to the monthly open before looking lower um that would start to put some this market structure you that would damage that and yeah we'd be looking at more of a corrective move at that stage uh if we do start to get that corrective move then this is the big one down here so this 51 51 500 area again much lower down uh yeah, so 51,500, um, yeah, there's, there's this 53,300 area, uh, 55,500 area, and uh, yeah, the 58K area here as support. Okay, uh, exocharts. So what we have on the TPO uh, is we do, so the main kind of trades that we could get off of today is this uh, daily naked point of control that has formed again at 58k so that adds confluence to that level uh, if we were to get a move down into that area so that is our volume based point of control coming in at 58 and our time based point of control coming in around 58 40 58 50 um yeah so that zone um, we all we all know that zone um anything else on this nothing in particular uh you would be looking at any scalps you would initially look to get a trade off of the buying tail here so if we do come through and fill these single prints you'll probably get a bounce off the top of the single prints to begin with and then um, that could come through and fill 
and then you'd be looking at about at the top of the buying tail um, and we'll see how those areas of demand hold but again major level is here at 58 uh, okay let's have a look at so again you can see that naked point of control coming in right there and that is also our previous day point of control so big area there uh, if we zoom this out we have another two naked points of control above us so we do have this one here at 62,350 area and this one at 64,475 to the downside there is nothing other than this um, on the four hour so we probably have to look down at the four hour to find anything more locally even the four hour that's giving us one at 57,900 area and if we do start to break down further then we have 55,680 so 55,680 is again confluence for this zone so that does give us a really really nice area around here if we did get a dip down and then a fairly nice area for a bounce lower down here cool so um yeah i think that is everything on bitcoin that i want to talk about uh pretty straightforward really um <laughs> let's move on to ethereum which is still just moving higher just squeezing all these shorts shorts underperforming every single time and it's the same on bitcoin bitcoin's a little bit more stable you can trade that a little bit more both ways at the moment but yeah shorts just really really are underperforming across the market at the moment um so very nice if you are just in spot positions uh spot and chill right now and uh enjoy the profits until we start to see anything majorly different here so right now, um, the next major resistance on the Bitcoin pair would be this monthly at 0 0.077. Um, if we zoom out a little bit, then I think let's actually go to a weekly chart here and let's go on to let's take a look at linear first and let's see if there's anything from I do know there is a golden pocket going on right here. So that is not yet on linear. Um, we'll take it from these highs. <laughs> so this gives really nice confluence if we do get up to 0 0.1 uh, Bitcoin. Uh, we know this is going to be a huge area up here, but I think it's way too early to be talking about that just yet. But right now, again, so here we go, log scale, uh, which is you, like you log scale is pretty important right now because of the speed of this move coming up we are in this golden pocket area we do have a little bit so you could say from these lows down here um, you can see how that was support over here how it was support here 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 it had that little sideways consolidation so we do have an area um, without any massive levels on it but this is the beginning of something quite strong so there will be supply within this area so anything basically from 0 0.07 up to 0 0.077 uh, you would have to say it has the potential for a reversal um, so yeah it, the, the thing with this is that we keep pulling these levels um, we keep looking at levels like this monthly <clears throat> was a big level for me um the same as where we are right now but it didn't really hang out hang about much there at all uh, we did get these little rejections from it so if we do come down here actually no we didn't did we <laughs> it just came straight through and then they made it support so we'll see we'll see how it gets along with this level um but yeah, it, you could quite easily just see it form a range here. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, okay, uh, 
ETHUSD. Again, through through the the big resistance really came straight through it and then made it support. Uh, I would say because we are looking at a range of supply right now on the BTC pair, um, and we know how the market has been performing uh, this year, I would say that four thousand two hundred dollars is going to be pretty big. Um, like market makers are loving the meme levels right now so we're almost there we're 50 dollars away from that we'll have to see what happens if we do get a touch of uh 40 4, which looks like it could be coming any second now um so actually let's just set an alert at this level let's bring it up here let's look at 49 let's add an alert on here we are in log we do not need to be there um why am i doing it this way weird <laughs> okay let's have a look at that if we get alerted on that during this video i'm not sure if we will because i'm coming to the end of it but yeah, it'll be interesting to see the reaction from there. Uh, yeah, that's really it for Ethereum. Um, shorts underperforming. Be cautious on shorts and be maybe greedy on longs until things change. Um, Litecoin, really good again. Uh, so we got that really nice move down over the weekend here, which did take these lows uh, then we had the back test of that and we've had since then just a re really really good move higher there so yeah litecoin's looking very nice um i would be looking right now for yeah this 50 well six thousand six hundred sats uh to hold a support um <laughs> so i think this could be <laughs> this is the thing like so <clears throat> ethereum hitting 4200 like coin hitting 420 um it's just that thing isn't it market makers are really liking those levels it happened with doge uh when it went from the 42 to the 69 areas and it's just, yeah, they seem to just be playing that game at the moment. Um, so you do have to mark these levels on your chart, even if they're not that technical. Um, yeah, you've got to be aware of them. So, yeah, Litecoin, $420. You'd say next resistance coming up. Uh, anything on a more technical perspective, I think really we'd be looking at you'd be looking at this trend line that's coming down uh, so we do have this coming down which you would expect a reaction off of uh, we are lining up quite nicely with these lows here so we do have these lows coming in here and then if we do get that move higher then uh, 8,000 sats uh will be a very key level as well um yeah i think uh every again everything's hit and exceeded targets so let's just see how things go um link <clears throat> again moving up quite nicely we do have these levels up here to be aware of on link btc but again, as long as it just continues to hold and form a range within these areas, then things look very healthy. Uh, Link USD. Working on this channel, so this is what I do keep saying over and over and over again. I do expect this channel to break to the upside. Um, I do think that that could happen very soon. Um, we'll have to be, yeah, then we'll yeah just see what happens there. Uh, but from it hanging out for so long at this, I would expect at the very least a deviation from this channel before coming back in. Um, but I do think we do break out of this and start getting closes 
above there soon. Uh, and then we move more onto this channel here, which still gives us this target coming in in, yeah, within this next week, really. So this week I will be looking for that 56 to 57 dollar area on link. Um, cool. And finally, let's see if anything else is moving. XLM is doing well uh without xrp so xrp has yeah xlm is doing well on its own which is interesting um not really any majors here clv we're pretty bullish on so clv is still looking good uh carver i like at the moment um We could have a quick check up on our long-term low cap holds. So Acro seems to be kind of forming this really nice low here. So this is holding itself up as support. Um, technical levels within this area, there's not that much of. Um, but yeah, if it's holding here, then that's that's a very good sign um yep looking good uh yeah we have that nice move down into the golden pocket there let's check out bzrx which had a really nice bounce off of this uh, local golden pocket over the weekend and we would now be looking for these levels to be reclaimed uh, but again things holding nicely so it is holding above previous resistance here on the US dollar chart so a lot of this move down is just yeah what you would expect to see on the alts where you do have that really nice move up you come back down and then you start to fill um, more positions around there uh, what else do we have? We have RSR as another one of our long-term plays. Um, it's still, still in this range, uh, so nothing to report on that, which is just, again, as you would expect, uh, these are not overnight gains that we're looking at on this. This is These are just interesting coins that are nice to follow. Um, so you'd say as long as it's holding within this area then this is reaccumulation above these highs. So all looking good. Uh, we'll move over quickly onto this list and do the same thing on QNT, which again, same as RSR, it's just a very similar chart, it's just this accumulation. So slow and steady. And UBXT, mm, now that does look like we could be ready for another move higher on that. Um, cool. Yeah, nothing else that I really want to cover this morning. Uh, I will be making another video, probably looking at some more alt setups, um, maybe today. And yeah, just seeing what more immediate trades we can be looking at. But that'll do it for today's update. Um, oh, one other thing. Look at these gaps. So <laughs> at some point, uh, and this would line up quite nicely with this is an area that we're looking at. So obviously that still gets, uh, we have to keep moving this up. Um, so every time we get a new high, we have to keep moving this higher. Um, who knows where this will end? Uh, But yeah, we'd, we'd have some nice confluence within some interesting areas if we do reject sometime soon on Ethereum. And that's when you look to fill these gaps. Um, yeah, we'll just <laughs> have to wait and see. Um, <clears throat> Bitcoin's not really got anything. Uh, so we do have this gap above. So again, that's another resistance to be aware of coming in at 62 on CME. Uh, it's not much of a premium right now 
CS 62K would be an area uh, that does not exist anymore. And yeah, I think the gap from today, yeah, it's nothing really. Uh, so there's no like clear space here. Um, yeah, so we, we've come off the underside of this as well. Okay. So we did have this one. Um, although, so price gapped through this gap, came back. And we have just tapped the low here, so that's interesting. Uh, let's just put that onto the wick low and just see. So yeah, really nice reaction off of that so far. So that is something on CME. Um, we could bring that higher, so 60K. <laughs> um, so that would be the full close of this one. And then we do have the, the larger gap above here. But actually, yeah, what we're saying is clear space is this has all been filled now. So that is the inefficiency filled on the CME chart. Um, everything else has been traded through. Yeah, interesting. Um, so these are these two levels here. Cool. Uh, yep, all right, that's gonna do it. Um, I will, as usual, see everyone within the Discord. And uh, yeah, I won't say anything else today because this has already been going on a long time. Great, uh, cheers everyone. And I will see you all later and another update tomorrow. Bye.